Hello, hello. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome again, Rob and Chris. Let's chat a little bit. So after uh, <laughs> after baiting people to uh, finally play the uh, event quests, looks like we finally hit 10,000 points as of the beginning of the stream. So we get another 25% photon drop rate. That's a that's a pretty big improvement, I would say. The last one was literally the last one was 10% photon drop rate. So this should help with affording some things. So Chad, I want you to know. I'm looking to get a lot of challenge mode weapons pretty much between now and the end of the year. Uh, somewhere in the range of, let's say, six or seven. And that would potentially ne mean that chat gets to name these. Because remember, challenge mode weapons are customizable. You could call them almost anything. Well, chat has to start thinking of names. <laughs> I mean, I could get a very generic, quote-unquote, like, hell needle, but let's let's be real. Chat wants to name it something goofy. Yeah, I'm just looking at what the points are. So the next big goal is 12,000 points. Temple, spaceship are halfway there. Seabed tower and the atrocities are nowhere close. We might do a little bit of the other quests, but I do want to make sure for people that want to do towards the future to get some of those runs in. I already imagine you saying I'm not naming it. I mean, as long as it's not like ultra vulgar or something, it'll probably go through. So if I want to murder something with the Antares convoy. Actually, I better double check how many letters the names are. I actually don't know because I've never named one before. We'll get a fact check in real time. That will be that'll probably be the big limiter. It might only be like eight characters or something. Anyway, let me go ahead and boot up PSO. Ultra Volker? Oh no. Feel like that would be a demon needle. <laughs> just just actually disgusting. Hmm. Start up with a little bit of a warm up, I guess. The chat would like to join me in some episode two. I don't think we like technically need need traps for it, but whatever chat wants. Then Marco, if there's anything you're looking to hunt since you've been on stream a lot, let me know. After we do a couple of these, we'll probably switch over to your requests. Since I. I think you've gotten all the units. I don't have anything new written down for you. Uh, assume every enemy, Chris. It'll be a lot of experience. You don't need to bring in a super high level character. Welcome, Frosty. The Marco is welcome in. Chris is welcome in. We have another slot at the moment. This is my way of kind of going for some uh, Vivian. <laughs> we'll do a few of these, maybe a couple of Temple. Then we'll move on. I just want to say that I tried really hard <laughs> to get a Vivian. Since I have still not gotten one to drop. I've gotten most items in this drop so far, other than I think Heaven Striker. Marco says they got everything. They're not looking for anything else. They're still murdering Talos. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. By <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. By the way, in the struggle to just gain about... What was it? About 400 points? Forrest has gone up 2.5k since yesterday. <laughs> like, it, it legit is almost nine times the amount of points in one day compared to everything else. Actually insane. Just shake your head, chat. Yeah, this quest should be pretty good for leveling for people that are not max level.
Alright, anybody joining in for the fourth slot? Have bomb. The only thing we need is demons. Chris, do you have a slicer fanatic or like a demon handgun? I just want to make sure. You might need it for uh, a couple enemies. Oh, one of my favorite songs in the whole game is playing. Too bad we're not fighting anything at the moment. I thought it would just make sense to restock. I'm like, I probably don't have my Moon Atomizers capped. Also, that is a stupid amount of patches in my inventory. Actually dumb. I don't know what to do with these. Guessing there's no fourth person joining us. I don't mind starting the quest with three. It's just a shame there's not a fourth. Don't worry, Sir Frosty. Yeah, I think Pink ID is the way to go for this quest. I'm gonna at least be pretty decent DPS. As long as there's a lure here, I should be good. Also, I need to learn to do D-Band and then ship to. I gotta break a bad habit. I'm gonna pause tricks so I can actually hit these things. There we go. I'll try to slow down the Dorfon. The Dorfon will appear, so I'm gonna need somebody near me, because there's gonna be a murder flower. And then on the opposite side of me of the room, there's gonna be a Gibbles. Thank you. Oh, hello. I don't I don't really want to deal with you. After the sorcerer will be a Dorfon, so just be careful. I'll try to uh Gufoe. Oh, that was a little far from me, but that's fine. We stopped discharge eventually. Think about what game soundtrack to do next. Nice lockdown. Do my best to keep them mostly debuffed to help combo kill. Bullying. The bullying is real. I don't want anything to do with the hill belts, that's up to you. Should I do that in the- Oh, I'm getting stunlocked by Babuda. My most dreaded nemesis returns. Get that enemy. I think he says perfect jungle music. Nice, nice. Hope you're doing well, Tiggy.
Oh, they're out of range of my Zalor. Oh. Didn't sleep much, the clearly it means more PSO. Thank you for the paralysis, that's all I needed. I'm actually happy that I left this character's pink ID for this quest, because I don't really want to play a normal force into this, but the fact that I can actually combo kill some enemies here does save a little bit of time. Like that. Him. Please don't pull my target away. I think we're gonna be fighting like a double Barans and then an annoying thing in the middle. Just be careful. We might need somebody on up each person on opposite sides of the room. I'll try to slow them down a little bit with Rezond. But just, just be warned, we're coming up to a point we might need to split up. I'll still knock the, the flower, kill the brands. There we go. Yeah, that that spawn can be kind of evil. If if you're not ready for it, it's like, oh, you're like, where's the flower? And then dead. <laughs> Just in that order. Yeah, this one won't be too bad. There's going to be like a murder flower at the back of the room at some point, but every other spawn of murder flower is fairly intuitive. You'll probably be next to it without trying. this actually matters. Thank you. I was not landing 100% hits without it. Upgrading her Megan. I don't know what it is, but it's it's not at 30, I can guarantee you. It's probably at like 26 or something stupid. It's missing way too often. I was 27, I was close. You can just get a feel for it sometimes, chat. I'm like, I'm unlucky, but not that unlucky. by bees. Here's my chance at Vivian. They're near the laser gate, I think, of the murder flowers, so just be ready. I'll slow them down a little. I'm gonna put a fireball down. You could go to the next area. And then that'll make the Rappies uh, get up. I'll hit them just in case. Oh, yeah, and if you need to, you could come back. And just be prepared for very rude Dwarfon when we go through. Good luck with rude Dwarfon. Switch to Slicer for a bit.
Oh, I can't land the first normal hit. That's so painful. Whatever. Yeah, getting a little unlucky with the specials there, not gonna lie. I'll stick to Slicer for now. I think that's the right call. I guess I have tighter animations. Should probably be spamming it more. Gotta recognize character strengths. As much as I want to pew pew everything. It's just objectively the right call. There we go. Really? I missed double demons there? That is actually incredibly unlucky. What is that? Getting a 25% chance two times in a row? Pretty bad. Oh, I, I, that's, that's also unlucky. Yeah, I had 116 and 170% chance of hitting it, and I missed. Just due to demon whiffing. It's kind of brutal. I saw... Oh, there's the silver badge. I saw a couple of rares drop, and I'm like, which is which? No, I got baited. So sad. The bait is real. King bar. Forgot that can even drop. Man, pink ID is just full of surprises, apparently. Maybe this is the pink ID quest. Honestly, like off chance limiter, lame to Arjun. We finally found what to play on it. That makes me wish it had more Gurdabulus than Dorfons. That's the thing that makes me sad. <laughs> if it just had one Gurdabulu per room. <laughs> it probably would have been fine. Getting unlucky again. Getting really unlucky again, please. There we go. Give me a break sometimes with that RNG. Yeah, just be careful. Where the team is now are going to be some very annoying enemies. I think it's in one more wave. Because it's going to be like double sorcerer miracle, which is annoying. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this wave. I'm still keeping my eye where the chat is currently. I don't trust it. We 
making him annoying. Speaking of annoying. Oh, I'm targetable. After this, I think it's a uh, dwarf on, so just be careful. Or there, or there's something equally annoying that I will go for. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go body block for the team. Gold badge, nice. Rip Chris. Oh, come on, land the special. There we go. Then on the area where the team just was, there should be some annoying uh, Darkbringer plus BS. Just look out for the plus BS. I'm making my way slowly over there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stunlocked by Gaigui, please. I don't know what was hitting them, but that made me so sad. I couldn't do anything. I got confused into Firebomb. I don't know if somebody was hitting them with something. But I got absolutely destroyed. There we go. Oh, here's the Morphos. So after Morphos, I think it's Darkbringer about where I'm standing. So we're gonna need potentially a Freeze Trap here later. Why am I getting lasered? Please leave me alone. <laughs> Why is it... You know what? If it wants to target this one, whatever. It's fine. I can't do anything about that. There we go. Thank you for the freeze trap. That wave could have been really annoying. Oh, I, I was a little slow on the Oh, my bad. Should basically all done. Almost done with the quest. Speaking of Slicer Fanatic. Hi Slicer Fanatic. Goodbye. One day we'll see the box rare on this run. Gladly take those. You know what the sad part is? I could actually mag blast in that quest. All I would have to do is get rid of Cure Paralysis and I would get it a room earlier. Since I ended up at 100 meter. Rambling Bay lets me build so much meter, it's actually kind of gross. Oh, I can't pick up any more grinders? What am I holding on to? Oh, Dimates. I don't need Dimates. Probably put away one of my other guns so I can hold more items. being taunted for having too many weapons. Oh, we're gonna put something away later. Not bad XP. Also, I find it interesting that it's going into the character themes after we've played the final song of the game, including the credits. I don't think I understand the soundtrack order, to be honest with you. demonic fork at all. I could use Vivian on the satellite lizards. I'll leave it equipped for now. 
Let's do a quick check on how many materials we've gained so far in this event. So, just from this week, only about 17 of each. That's not a lot. EDs, though, we're at 90, so I'm about to cap. This is why I'm thinking of putting in some orders for spare challenge mode. <coughs> Weapons, because at this point I have, I think, the 6 stacks of 99. Which I'm going to save for fully spearing something. And then the rest will be just towards literally challenge mode upgrades. And if I get enough gold badges, then those 99 PDs will go towards specials on challenge mode weapons anyway. It's kind of a win-win-win. Win-win-win there. We'll say do two more of these, and then we'll switch what quests we're doing. We'll check in with Chris if he's hunting for anything in particular. I figured we could at least say we did a little bit of boosting of the points. Imagine Chris probably just wants more red ring if I had to guess. You know what? <clears throat> Excuse me, man, throat is kind of dry today. I think what I'm going to do is I think I will actually put on that PB create. Especially with three people, I'm going to get a lot more opportunities to kill things. Lava Cannon, Twin Blaze. Probably do all of those today. Sadly, we're sadly pink ID. Whenever we fight Gibbles, we are actually doing Lava Cannon at the moment. Technically, we're just getting unlucky. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. That's for a uh, white ID. We'll do some white ID later. Should have a PB created. Yeah, White ID Tower has pretty much everything that you need. Tower's not that bad. As I said before, I actually think the tower quest in this one is like one of the few tower quests I would run. So if you want to go for Psycho Wand, Lavis Cannon, Handgun Gold... <laughs> I don't think anybody else is joining in Parameter. You're more than welcome to join. We will welcome any addition of demons and or traps <laughs> and or hell. That will speed up the run. I'm actually going to put on a PP Create. And I might actually Mag Blast with the team. Because, I mean, it's going to be like a 10-11 minute quest no matter what. So I could probably squeeze out some PB. So even if I'm playing more Slicer Fanatic with uh, Demons, at least I should be building some Steady Meter. So basically, as soon as somebody has it, we should probably pop it. Because we're, we're not very likely to all get 100. But if at least two people have it, it's probably worth it. Just because deleting the Lily would save us a lot of time. Welcome, remote battery. How are hunts so far? Uh, mostly empty. Oh no, the Humar squad. Humar is the symbol. I was gonna say, we have like 20% of the community already in the game that plays Humar. In the game. <laughs> Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so... I think you would actually like the White ID Tower hunts, Chris. They are actually kind of crazy. Like, between V502, Psycho 1, Lava's Cannon, Handgun Gold. It's, it's all of your uber dreams in one run. <laughs> essentially. While still going for a potentially useful unit. And as I said before, I actually don't think the tower quest is that bad. Yeah. As long as somebody has demons and or demon mech gun, it goes really, really fast. Yeah, and all we really need is, like, maybe one trap user. Two is always nice, because then you can just literally freeze trap every wave if you want. Yeah, there's only a couple of, like, quote-unquote problem waves, and they're they're solved. We, we have solved them on stream. I'm like, yeah, we, we learned in real time how to do that quest real quick. 
Atrocity 2, I'm still kind of learning. But I feel like at least there's potential with this one, where I feel like that, you know, there's a couple places we could definitely stand to deal with, you know, that ill gill spawn. Knowing where that ill gill spawn is really important. Otherwise, things get out of control. Knowing the dwarf on charges in is important. Yeah, honestly, Demon Mech Gun is really good across multiple characters. You could do the a glitch to hit it, but honestly, like, it's just all... Just pretty much nothing but winning on Ramar. Ramar cares not at all. He's like, oh, he's like, wait, it doesn't have good accuracy? I didn't notice. I was too busy winning. <laughs> I, I want a character select. So now that we have a lot of ATP, I could just demon all day long. Thank you, chat, for dealing with Miracle. Leave me alone, Gibbles. Leave me alone. I'll do what I can to weaken them, but my aim is not guaranteed, sadly. I need a slightly stronger Slicer Fanatic for this character. Oh, I tried. <laughs> yeah, like, the way I see it is that, you know, Hell Needle is kind of one of those things you should probably pick up first. Uh, we were going back and forth in our guide. I actually don't remember if I put Demon Mech Gun above or not. I know I put it above, like, Arrest, unless you're playing, like, a lot of Episode 4, because I do think there are annoying enemies in combination Episode 4 and Episode 2 that would be worth doing it on. I would say probably like if it's only doing episode one, I think I re recommended something else. But that, that was easy top three for me, honestly. I don't think that has really changed. And for the situations we talked about it, like I, I remember saying specifically something along the lines of, you know, tower, it saves a lot of time because it kills Ilgils. It's still really good against things like Gurdabulu. Don't see some use outside of tower, but man, it's just so good. Yeah. I liked it a lot when we were doing Anguish, when Anguish was a thing. I remember saying that if we were doing Anguish, it's so powerful, it's worth doing. Just because, like, we used to do, if you remember, the Desert Quest Anguish 1, where even though it didn't trigger as often, because it hits so many times, it doesn't matter. So it's still even useful in if you want to do Anguish. Sadly, Anguish is, like, not played anymore because they killed the mode. But, yeah, it was a lot stronger in that mode, for sure. Because it, it devalued things like Arrest, but it still made demons kind of bonkers, even with low proc rate. See, I'm at 20 meter, and I've mostly just been sitting around in the quest. So I can already donate no matter what, thanks to PB Create. So if somebody ends up getting it, we could just pop it. Ooh, team is murdering. Yes, we know the quest at minimum is going to be like 10 minutes, so I can build enough to at least donate. Thank you, Rubarda. You did what I needed you to do. I'm sorry, did I get a 65 hit ray gun with no special? Seriously? Where is it? I'm dropping it so everybody can see it and shame it. Where is it? I'm like, stand up for the class, young man. Where are you? Here it is. Stupid. 
It's <laughs> like, right? Like, couldn't that have been amazing? What if that was hell or demon? I would have been like, hell yeah. Wow. What a waste. I want everybody to immortalize that. That definitely belongs on the wall of shame. It, it would have been like a 75 hit or two. Would have been so good. Like actually insane how good it would have been. Oh well. Oh yeah, that's true. Or Berserk. Yeah, what a waste. I mean, at least it's proof that this area is deep enough that we could get okay items, but... It's not... I didn't want proof in that way. <laughs> what would it actually be useful? Getting hard trolled. There we go. Stupid slow-mo. Oh, Bringer's right arm? Actually not a bad pickup for new players. See, these drops just have little little fun surprises on pink ID. I only looked at like six or so enemies. Did somebody just drop a PD? Because it didn't say I picked up a PD. I mean, like, I'll take it. Listen. <laughs> like, I'm in the middle of comboing and there's a PD on the floor. Oh, you dropped PD for Bringer's Arm? Okay, I'll, I'll give it back. I was just curious. I got confused. And that makes sense. Um... Uh, Probably get that power material. The item is so shameful. Let that ray gun burn forever at the top of that list. So close to useful. Five meter, which isn't bad. Teal up the team a little. What was the hit on the ray gun? 65. No special 65. Pushed me out of the lily range. He was just trying to body block for me. What a nice guy. Why do you want it, Murphy? I'll go back for it. I know where it is. I'll do it for you, Murphy. 50 hit charges enough. Okay. If you don't want it, I'm not going back for it. Well, welcome, Promethean. Hope you're doing well. It makes a funny screenshot, though. It is very disappointing. I think we could call that the biggest troll drop of the, of the event so far. That is just actually trolling. It even won the three stat lottery, where it actually came with three stats. No special. Prometheans disappointed it was more PDs. What were you hoping for? That translates to more cookies per second. I would have thought that would have been huge. Other Slicer Fanatic, nice.
Ooh, 35 hit slicer. Ooh. Nice. It's actually huge. That's a, that's actually like really good. Pretend your hunter is a ranger briefly. Well, I'm glad we finally got an upgrade here. <laughs> Rare a tour. Out of my way. Why can't I target you? Hello? Weirdish. Ew, what a terrible draw. Oh, unless it's what I think it is. Hold on. Okay, maybe this is the item I actually care about. One second. You know what? I don't need 10 dive fluids. Oh, I can't see it to confirm. I'm gonna hold it for now. One second. Is that the item I'm looking for? It is actually the thing that I'm looking for. Chad, if it actually rolls well, let me know. It has a very gimmicky special for casts. I would like to try it at some point. Basically, you can use it to drain your Photon Blast gauge, but more importantly, you can cause it to do lingering attacks. So that way, as a cast, you could kind of have the pseudo... You could have, like, pseudo Gafoe on something and just kind of delete something. Yeah, it as a weapon is not great, but it potentially with uh, other things is interesting. Yeah, th that it's very niche, I'm going to be very clear, but it, it means that anything that's vulnerable on spawn could just die to you randomly. And it's not bad for uh, PB manipulation early on. Yeah, it's definitely much worse than like a Seal J sword, but it could be amusing. But it has to roll like decently well on the stats in order to make up for its mediocre stats. So like mon like if you're gonna use it against machine for like insta kills on machine. Yeah, it's unfortunately Hugh casts a Hugh Casio only, but hey, most people have those, so I think that's fun. I would potentially use it on Hugh Casio to just stack up on like Raffies or something. I'm playing episode four. Damn, I think I need to get another PP crate. So I'm at 74 meter. I think if I had had a second one, I would have been at 100 by now. So maybe it's actually worth me unequipping something. Maybe I'll get rid of V801 just for another PB crate. Because then in this room, I'm pretty sure at 13 minutes, I would have added a PB charge. Chat can... Oh, I got interrupted. Chat can fact check me, though. I don't think I super care about V801 in episode 2. I still want to give it a shot at some point, just to show off the mechanic. Even if it's bad stats. Yeah, like I'm already at 93. This this would have been the place I would have PB'd. That way we're just immune to the blasts, rip team. There we go, I got through it eventually. Yeah, I, like, I definitely don't want it over a Frozen Shooter, but I, I want, at least want to try the special on stream at least once. Might be more useful in my solo play than multiplayer. Alright, so we know there's going to be problem enemies between the two Morphos. As long as we have a cast roughly in the middle, we should be fine. Delete some of these enemies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> it's like, hope I can slow them down enough. 
We'll face tank, that's fine. Put my TP. This in my share bank for later. Yeah, so I think the play is for me to actually do double PP creates. So we'll do at least one more and then we'll switch quests. Twenty-five dark. That useful. I feel like I wanted native, like a high native percentage. Oh well. I think it can also kill switches and walls. We're, we're gonna experiment a little bit with it. How many people? How many photon drops? Almost capped on PDs. Them away on somebody. Right, so let's put away V to one, even though it is good. I think I actually genuinely just want another PB create. If I could get it just one room earlier, I think that would be huge. I'm assuming the team has been getting a hundred or close to a hundred <laughs> before the final room. Sadly, I don't have a PB increase on this character. Might actually try to get those later. Because I think Fomoral is like the, the character that could just afford to get rid of all of her slots because they just legit don't matter. The Smart Link V101 2 PB creates. Alright, let's, let's get a nice shot of the wall. I'll put a little screenshot. There we go. Let's see, is it already on the wall of shame? Let's look. It is not. Yeah, that definitely needs to go up there. That's so, so disappointing. Yes, that's PB increase. I have the components for it, but honestly, I think I'd rather just pay somebody for it at this point. I don't feel like doing that quest again. I think it is potentially worth it on Fomoral, because she just has two free slots at all times, and I have literally nothing better to do. So if somebody wants to help potentially secure a trade deal for me, let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll literally just pay you the PDs. Be like, I want it. I think it's like the difference of once every 16 to once every 12, if I remember correctly. So like, it would actually make a difference here. Since it's a 10 minute quest. Yeah, I have, like, legit one. I've made one a long time ago, and then I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that going forward. If you don't mind, I'll take it, because this character uses it, like, legit all the time. As does my faux new rolls, where my faux new rolls are just trying to build meter for episode 4 boss. So the faster I can build it, the better. Let's sort our inventory. Yeah, I like it a lot on forces. I don't use it as much on other characters. I love that because we waited here, I just built more meter. See, I'm at 4 PB already. Didn't even do anything. Yeah, I think I'm guaranteed to get it. And I can even attack a little bit to build extra meter. Or get hit on purpose. On 
S parts, nice. We hit me for damage, nice. Get demoned. Cool. There we go. The oh, miss, miss, miss is brutal. There we go, that's much better. I'll take it. Eventually that might lead to more virus armors, we'll see. There we go, hit me for more damage. Already at 31 meter. We'll do a meter check with people in a moment. Like we hitting me, awesome. Build me meter. Mm -hmm. Build me more meter. Yeah, build me more meter. <laughs> like, I'm not dodging. Get out of here. There we go, already at 42. Yeah, if I had like at least another 20 hit, I think I would land the uh, normal heavy special without debuffs. It would be huge. Oh, those guys actually just got deleted. I don't know why my debuffs were not hitting him. Fine. No, 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 no. I don't need PP crate. I thought you said increase. I'm not looking for PP crates. I got a million. Those, those you have to go out of your way to make. Get out of here. Yeah, they're useful in forces, and honestly, when you get high level and you're playing solo, I still think they're more useful than other units. Because you're going to get to a point where it's like, you won't need ATP for attack. You're going to be using, like, what, V101, V502, your Ranger, you don't even use Smart Link. The rest are just support stuff, so you might as well as just get Photon Blast faster in single player and longer quests.
And even if you don't use Photon Blast for itself, you could still expend it using things like J Sword or whatever. Almost double everybody's PP. Ooh, 98. Hey, we might be able to get a dual mag blast soon. That should be good enough with a little bit of donate. So probably after this room, we'll we'll do a check. Such menacing music, it is indeed. Shimabara assault. I should get it, hopefully. Did somebody get it just now? I'll do what I can to get it a little higher. Really? There we go. Game is like, hey, look, something's untargetable. Let's aim for it. There we go. Hit me again. Yeah, build me meter. <laughs> All right, chat. Checkmate. So I think I'll have it by next room. Well, that actually works on them. That's kind of funny. They're like, huh, I'm resistant to all damage, and I'm like, demons. <laughs> GG. Get outplayed, apparently. Ooh, hit me? Aw. Oh, one time I'm with the versus the body me. 25 hit or better has 99% accuracy on third attack versus Greta Boon, America, Americas. Yeah. This one's not bad. I'm a, I'm a 25 hit currently. But there's a couple enemies I just can't land it consistently on. Like, see how I'm still, like, 72% versus the Soul Gibbons? I'm definitely craving a little more accuracy there. I don't need it to be 100, but I'd like it to be a little higher. At 86 meter. I know in about a minute I'll have it, no matter what. Try to speed it up with some melee attacks. left oh you game is actually trolling me <laughs> game went to like the only untargetable spot twice game please i'm at 97 meter i should have it literally after we go through this hallway we'll clear hallway and then we'll do it in the hallway i think then people can donate if they want that's not a bad point to get it honestly as long as it's before the final room if I had PB increase, we could have had it one room earlier. Oh well. Poor enemies. Yeah, fortunately I don't worry too much about the Dwarf Bonds, just because the standpoint, at least if they get paralyzed, I should probably land it most of the time anyway. Bye. 100. I'm just going to say using twins. Oh, wait. Wait, I thought somebody said... Wait, what? Didn't, this, didn't somebody say 98? Why did they donate? Oh. Use twins? Oh, I'm getting trolled. Oh, use twins. That's so sad. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we were the only two that had it. Rip the buffs. I mean, it technically is stronger. But I don't think that was worth. Yeah, just, you could just use Pila. We, we were the only people that had it. Rangers, Rangers have that, uh... PB advantage where they just do a million damage to everything. Let's try to keep our buffs slightly alive. Oh, well. Yeah, if I'm looking to be more serious with Fomoral, I think I need better Slicer Fanatic. PB increase. As you can see, I was like almost competitive with Ranger with how fast they were gaining. Like I, I eclipsed Hunter. But potentially getting those buffs on the longer quests matter. How'd it go with the plumber? Oh, uh, they replaced the part that wasn't working. I thought they were gonna rip, just like repair it, but they're like, no, we're just gonna change it completely. I'm like, okay, that works. Out of here, Dorfon. Spam heal so the group doesn't die. Oh well. Rip Chris. Rip the mini buff. Yeah, by the way, chat, I looked at the drops on Classic Cart the other day. I'm like, man, I would feel so unmotivated. If I was playing Classic Mode, I just looked at those drop tables. I was like, holy. I felt like, I felt ill. <laughs> like, oh no, none of the quality of life enhancements are there. Gross. Somebody here for the track. Nice. There we go. Good demon. It behaved itself. That was a little faster. Heavenly HP, nice. Let's do one more. And we'll switch it up a bit. And we'll go through Chris's list, quote unquote. We could do Lavis Cannon on Tower while still getting other items. We're definitely gonna do Red Ring, that's not even a question. What was on his list? Red Ring, Lavis Cannon, Twin Blaze. So Twin Blaze would be CCA, we could potentially do that.
Yeah, then there would be yellow CCA for Twin Blaze. Parasitic Gene Flow is Parasitic Gene Flow, so I could do that at any ID. And then we can always do joke uh, Seal J Sword runs anytime. Let's do like four PW4 resets. Be like, we did it, yay! Yeah, I don't think I left PB increase in the share bank. I would actually like it if I got it. Might be in my uh, phone new roll though, sadly. Yeah, I don't see it in here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll do one of these then before we go to tower. I guess we just hard bully some enemies into tower. The final atrocity of the day. I don't think we'll be doing it in the evening. If Hellcleave is available in the evening, we'll probably do the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the rush of the characters. Yeah, Yellow CCA has a chance for LNK, but it also has Twin Blaze, <coughs> from what I remember. And either way, it would be stuff that Chris would be interested in, because he doesn't have an LNK combat with Hit. So there's just kind of doubles down on things he would like. Yeah, we're probably going to do it in the evening. Um, it's literally just when when Hellcleave is free, rush will happen. So he said he's not going to be available in the morning today, which is fine. I doubt we'll get another XP up before the end of the event. I feel like the final ones would not make sense for it to be XP. I, it, I guess in theory it could always be. I'm just hoping it's not. Because <clears throat> 200% XP bonus is kind of bonkers. demons. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. We're, we're gonna try our first ever uh, CCC power level rush and see how it goes. We'll do one as a group and then I'm based off of how it goes, I might do a solo one just so we have a separate video of showing how busted hell is. I think it's time we unleash the hell. <laughs> See, because before I didn't really play episode 2 at all, like, if you look at the beginning of the stream, like, I legit don't even think I touched it the first year of streaming. Just because, like, nobody had Hell Needle. I didn't have V502s for, like, a, a while. I might have had one, maybe, at the beginning of streaming. But I had, like, nothing worthwhile. I had, like, no Hell handguns. I had nothing. So yeah, so for people looking to get in on that, if you have a hell weapon, you can hop in. I want to see what four hells do to that quest. I'm going to get a loner from Hellcleave. And then eventually I'm just going to buy one. As a reminder, Chad, I need names for weapons. But we'll probably talk about it. I will probably get a hell slicer slash kunai. I will get a demon mech, because I always wanted to do that on Faux New World, because I thought it'd be super funny. Call it Helen. So yeah, we, we need some names for sure. Well, so far, names that have been talked about have been Ultra Vulgar, Helen, and something else. So we'll have to assign each of those to one specific weapon type. Paralyzed, how annoying. Please hit me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I just want Peter. 
<laughs> right, chat? I'm like, I'm not even hiding it. I'm like, just, just hit me. It's fine. Come on, Astark, fight me. Oh, whatever. Too weak. Okay, these things I don't want to have chat body with. Unlocking the murder flower. Jackie killed the Barans. And a demon's GG. There we go. Oh, look at that meter gain. See, I'm not in here to kill the way faster. I'm in here to build meter. <laughs> there we go. That was a good meter gain. Just gotta get shot by a Gaigui at some point. I'll be happy. Come here, Del Saber. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that meter gain. Hmm. That saved like a minute. <laughs> Thank you for following Donnie Darko 128. You're doing well. Degenerate DD says whenever I get a hell needle, I'm gonna call it highway. Are they on the highway to hell? Oh, got a range of buffing Chris apparently. I'm already at 66 meter, which is super good. Bonk. <laughs> oh yeah, hit me more. 70 meter. Yeah, let's actually kill these guys though. We don't mess around with insta kill. They need to go. Oh, rappy HP. You're so glitched out on my screen. Oh, nothing of interest drop. What a shame. Yeah, already at 75 meter. One of the final boss themes for some reason. We played the credit music before. We're going backwards in time again. There we go. There we go. 88 meter, nice. Oh, 92? Oh, thank you. How generous. Uh, I should be good on the rest of the way here. Ninety three meter, not too bad. As long as Marco's close, he's good to go. It's gonna be oops on Marissa's, which if they hit me, it doesn't matter, because it just built me meter. Because I purposely got hit by those satellite lizards and just got my blast. I could afford to demon a little. Nice. 
else just got it. Probably Marco. Spread Noodle. Spread Noodle will do that to you. Goodbye, enemies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say twins. Using twin. There we go. This is gonna be a big one. Oh, did Chris not donate? I didn't see it. Maybe he did. Ugh. Hopefully he did. Otherwise, he's missing out on a big buff. Find out. Good, okay, he donated. Okay, so this should be stupid damage. I think I'm just gonna switch to Glide Divine for a bit to make sure everything gets. Yeah, then we die to begin, something like that. They should die ultra fast. Welcome, PSO Spirit. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, and if I had PB increase, I wouldn't need to get hit by monsters there. I would slowly get towards it in seven minutes. That extra six PB or so actually matters. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, I don't think there's a point to demoning these things at all at this point. As long as they're just debuff, we should be good. Team damage will do the rest. Put out two Kafoes to try to hit the Rappies as they stand. Away for the next wave. Just exploding. Holy. Much better. Being targeted, just be warned. Eleven more minutes of super buff, huh? It'll be nice. I like that we like don't even really need to use demons with this much. We're just like, yeah. I'm gonna bully you in ATP now. Don't mind me. Glitch, nice. Ouch. them. That <laughs> ill kill just got shot in the back like a million times. Poor enemy. Actually, just getting deleted out here. No, you know, Barrel, I really don't want to fight you. Go away. Poor Gertabulu. 
Yes, that was like a minute faster. Oh, bunny. It's Fanseal J Sword. Congratulations, uh, Sir Frosty. I think that was Sir Frosty. Yeah. Okay. So just for Chris, I'm gonna switch into a Sky ID. Let's do a couple of Seal J Sword runs. Then we'll move on to other runs. <laughs> we'll try to sate Chris's desire for it. He's banned from cookie runs, damn. Banned forever. We'll do some Seal J Sword, then we'll do some, probably some Tower for Lava Cannon and stuff like that. And we'll probably do CCA into TTF or something. <clears throat> or depending on how long people are around, I might just do TTF and then Seal J after, or Windblaze afterwards. At least we could say we added to the total. Blue Hilda Tour is gross. I would respect the people that are doing it for Holy Ray, but specifically only blue that. I don't respect that. That's gross. I'm doing my part. I mean, like, we played Atrocity too. It's one of the least played quests. Then we're gonna do some Tower, which I actually find decent. I can level up other characters while I do it. I can't believe this character is 184. This character has climbed out of the depths of uh, Hugh Castell. So I have buffs. I think as long as they debuff Ilgil, we should be fine. Words you don't normally hear associated with uh, Hugh Cast. Hold on, team. I, I got her buffs right here. I'm gonna equip my S red. Gun was trolling me. Did you see that? The bullets hit it and it was like, nah, you didn't hit me. You told me to do better, chat. Oh well. Let's do. Let's say three more of these. In honor of the four in PW4. Yeah, I think with a little bit of shift and then the debuff, I think honestly, it, we have so much ATP that it should be fine. And yeah, we'll go for some Lavis Cannon for Chris, with, uh, some White ID Tower. We should be able to delete pretty quickly.
double deep. Please put Shifto on me, I beg of you. You. Where's Chris's character? There we go. Can only dodge for so long. I'm gonna make sure we're hitting these boxes too. They might have something of interest. Too early and hit it. Should work though. Oh, is a Marine? Yeah, it's gonna sit there. I'm loved. Goodbye, Gagui. Oh, the debuff. If you get debuff, just soul atomizer, by the way, because you're gonna do like literally nothing otherwise. AKA what the team has. There we go. We'll figure it out. I, I can't remove it from them. I only have shift to three. Oh. Do some damage. And end of run. This will be... My S red ball are weight. If there's somebody you wanted to level for tower, by the way, Chris, you can bring him in if you want. Whether it's your Valmar, Ranger, or Fort, or other Force. I don't think we'll need double raw cast for it. Neuron. Is... <laughs> Look at him glitching out. I love that. Yeah, if your back is against the wall, he gets really confused. He'll try to jump, but then he can't. It's so sad. Oops, soundtrack ended at an awkward time. Hmm. What soundtrack to put on next? I'm gonna say, unfortunately, Rob missed the, uh, literally play every Sonic soundtrack that exists, uh, marathon. I don't think I'll do that again. But we learned of some very obscure Sonic games. How did that not kill? Oh, you've watched some of those? Nice, nice. So we'll do one more reset. Hmm. You know what? We'll do this for Rob. I have the perfect one to put on. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to feel about the game. I remember playing it a while ago. Like, mmm. I don't think it's going to be as bad as Wild Arms 2. Wild Arms 2 was really brutal to get through. There were just way too many puzzles in that game. That room to puzzle density was, like, actually bonkers. Made no sense. Quick, rearrange these seven things in the room so you can proceed. Now figure out the days of the week. Now, uh, do, now do like seven series of things to topple something over. Game, please. 
yeah. A little extra damage there. Goodbye, Gibbles. Rest in peace, Gibbles. Ooh, I should have berserked there. Nice gold badge. You know what? That's more than we normally get in these runs. I'll take it. Oh, thank you for the Rafoe. That saves me some time. Two of them. Okay. So we can't say we didn't go for it. Okay, I'm gonna switch into force. Run over. Yeah, I guess it really depends on how high the random encounter rate is tuned. I'm definitely not a fan of random encounter games at all at this point. Let Vincent Dordle's recent recreations of the Golden Sun soundtrack. Interesting. I've I don't even think I remember a single song in this game, so it'll be a interesting experience. I think that's the downside of playing on handheld. Most of the time, I just played the game's mute. So we're gonna do some tower. Bring whatever you want in, Chris. It is good XP though. I'm gonna take a bringer's rifle for sure. How it's warning me it's gonna pause the video. How rude. How much of a unit static thick is? Listen, he's so big his hands clip into himself. Hips too big, chat. Cast. I respect that. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, Chris. Come here. I got something for you for later. <laughs> I don't have ad slots on me, but that's for the future. You can use uh, bronze badges to get some if you don't have them. I figure it'd be a big upgrade for the Hue cast. See, so yeah, chat will have the ability to create my characters later today. We'll be doing a 1 to 80 rush. The so chat created static thick. I'm curious what chat is going to do with two of the female ranger robots. <laughs> Will I be super tall? Will I be short and fat? Only chat will decide. I'm 
like I made the rock seal that I wanted to do. I usually, I, when I make the robots, I make them look kind of human as possible. But when I do like the human characters, they just become monstrosities. <laughs> Man is the monster. Let's sort our items are at the top. waiting on Chris. Oh, you slotted it up. Nice, nice. Excuse me. The Lavas Cannon, V502, Psycho Wand. Go for some Ubers, I guess. Take advantage of the actual event quests. There we go, chat. Look how much we're helping today. Buff time. Just remember, it'll be two waves in front, and then one in the back. After this, we'll need to take care of the miracles behind us. And then I will try to use Gafoe to stop their charge. Is they gone? I'm gonna put out a Gafoe to stop them. Don't go past me. Am I past me? And then it'll just be enemies to the front of the room going forward. Some buffs in. Nice paralysis, like that lockdown. There we go. Rebuff Marco. Mostly just straightforward. At some point I'll need somebody behind and somebody in front. They're gonna be like a split of Gibbles, which is gonna be annoying. So after this, expect Gibbles. I'm gonna continue to face forward, but I could play either of them, it doesn't really matter. Right, and then we'll refocus our efforts. Then we're gonna sur get surrounded by four Del Lilies. I'm gonna shut them down pretty hard with Razan. Just take your time, no panic. You don't even have to trap this. It'll be fine. Nope. And then we'll focus our efforts going forward. At the end of the room, eventually, are gonna be the Triple Miracle, Arrowwingle, or whatever BS name they have. So if nobody's in position, I'll refoe. Otherwise, you could set up if you want for a trap. Okay, there we go. Music almost fits. So it's going to be two Del Beaters, then it's going to be three Gaigui behind us. Then I need one cast to stay near me and freeze trap the Ilgil. I need the other two to go up on that raised ramp in front of us. So after we're done with this, just get ready for that. As long as I have one cast near me, I should be good. I'm going to try to debuff everybody with Zalor. That way I could do some big damage. So stay near me, stay near me. I need help. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, I got abandoned. I got abandoned. I'm dead. Chat, please. <laughs> Chat, I needed somebody to help me. I declared. I can't, I can't deal with the Ilgil Miracle. You're gonna get me killed. I got trolled. <laughs> yeah, three people cannot be on the ramp. I'm gonna blame Chris on that one. <laughs> I think he was near me. I was like, what? I got my debuff out, so I did what I needed to do. Alright, so then going up the ramp will be triple gibbles. 
Yeah, I, I think Chris went up. He was right next to me and then he went up. I got trolled. <laughs> Left for dead. Yeah, I was like, I got hard trolled. Yeah, no worries. It's fine. Chris doesn't run this. We'll, we'll give him a pass. Yeah, triple gibbles is pretty easy. It's gonna try to do whatever I can here. Uh, when we get into the room with the Epsilon, I'll face tank for the group. But essentially, just keep in mind, every time you see Epsilon, I will probably need your assistance in the middle. It's just the easiest way to remember it. So even if you remember nothing else about the quest, just know Epsilon means I'm in trouble afterwards. But fortunately, we just have two in the front. And then we're gonna have two in the back. Or we're gonna have one in the front, one in the back after this. So I need somebody to turn around. I'll hit the one that's in front. There we go. And then it'll be two in the back. We focus our efforts backwards. There we go. I got run over, but that's fine. Fine. So essentially, we're going to come into a room of quad delilies. Um, and then I think it goes into split Ilgil. So once we kill these four, get ready to potentially get coverage. So we'll need at least one person near the front, because I think it might be... It could be single Ilgil, but it could be double Ilgil. I forget. It's double Ilgil. Okay. So as long as we have somebody covering that, that's probably the hardest part of this room. After that, we're going to do four in the back. And then behind me, or near the red door, is going to be a single Ilgil. So we could just literally all turn to murder that single Ilgil. There'll be Gaigui with him, but we really don't care. We want that Ilgil just gone. I don't want to see this guy do anything. Get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. And now we could go and kill as normal. Then at the front should be two Delbeater, I think. So we don't have to do any spells in particular, so you can save on traps or whatever, because they just don't hit you. I'll try to debuff them. Yeah, normally we would have to twin blaze to stop them from charging, but these guys don't for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna volunteer my face. So just remember, every time you see Epsilon, I'm gonna need you. So the first time we kill Epsilon, it's gonna be a ring of Delilies, which are easy enough to stun. After that, it's gonna be Ilgil, Ilgil, Ilgil. Oh, that'd be good. So, however you want to punish the Ring of Del Lilies after this is up to you. I can at least keep them on lockdown, but I can't really kill them quickly by myself. So just be warned, you will soon be surrounded. Oh, a Confused Trap. Uh, okay, let me heal. Um, after this, split up a little bit, because there's going to be, I think, a triangle of lilies. So just start moving towards the outside and just get ready to punish. I'll slow them down with Razan so you can get in position. And I think it's double Gaigui into Epsilon. Fine. So take care of the Gaigui's. I'll just debuff when I can. And then after this is... Uh, it's going to be four Ilgil around me, so I'm going to be in full panic mode. So if you wait a little bit after the Epsilon dies, you should be able to freeze trap all of them, and I'll just debuff immediately. I'll do my best to demons, but game it could be finicky. I need Chris alive. Oh boy. Uh, there we go. Up Chris. There we go. Good spread needle usage. But then we're going to... Uh, just deal with Gibbles. So you could stay mostly on the outsides. I'll need you to all group up afterwards. When you see the Epsilon, this upcoming Epsilon, group as close as you can to me. If somebody is Twin Blaze, they can Twin Blaze. Otherwise, I'll try to time the group away because it'll be Del Beater. Oh, this is fine. This is the before. The Force can shut these waves down. I don't need you to be in perfect position for these. If you want to remember them, that's cool. <laughs> like, the other ones are more important to do correctly. All right, so there's double Ilgil in the... I forgot to mention in the bottom left. That's on it, though. So that's probably the scariest. So after this, we're going to need, like, the biggest group hug. Oh, I'm going to die if I don't heal. Should have died there. So we're going to need a super tight group hug. I will try to spam... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Gufoe. They'll, they should collide into me, basically. Group hug. Right, there you go. 
then I think it's one or two waves, and then I need your help again. This is this one is probably the trickiest. I think it's just like one normal wave into bad news. So I'll need somebody to hover near me because I'm gonna get double ill killed. There'll be Del Lilies on the outside. When you see that wave, don't worry about that. Just come to the middle and protect me. I can deal with the Del Lilies. I can't deal with the ill guild. Thank you. Dull stun lockdown. Good job, good job. Okay, I think we can mostly split up now if you want. That that the scary part of the run is over, I think. Yeah, it's over. There we go. Nice control. Oh, I'm so Oh, invincibility saved me so hard there. I'm not even gonna lie. Thank you, invincibility. I should have died for that. King, please. I revived Marco. There we go. That's the end of the quest. Also, remember to self. Feed mag. Give it love. It needs stats. Stats actually matter for this run. At least on Faux Newman when he's got awful, awful ATP. Here we go. We'll do a few more of those. So yeah, I like putting everything in context of how to keep the force alive. Because <laughs> once once that happens, I can stun lock like the whole room, but it's like... We're all good. Oh, Newman, awful ATP. True. You see my ATP? It's 632. I'm not killing anything with that. I'm like, I, I wish I could equip Excal right now, Tiggy. Not even close. Yeah, I'm like, when I'm like 188, I think I could wield Excal. And still actually have accuracy. You step away for like two minutes? Sure, sure. Yeah, I think, I think chat's getting a good rhythm with this quest. I, I do think, like, the initial communication, there's definitely an issue with it. But honestly, I would rather run this over most of the other anniversary event quests. I actually like this. The more I play it, the more I feel rewarded for actually having, like, the challenge mode weapons. I think when the team has, like, the strong demons, it goes really fast. Welcome back. I'd still rather do this over Seabed, for sure. I think I'm mostly done with Seabed runs. I don't think I want to do them anymore. Unless I just really only want the Psycho Wand. To be fair, is I guess sometimes worth going for. So one more, and then we'll turn around. Why can I not land those demons? Oh, you're running in front. No, don't do that. Don't run past me, please. They, they will come all the way down the ramp, I promise you. Yeah, I thought about it if I wanted to do orange for P1. I mentioned that earlier. 
I, I probably should do more orange for a few more at some point. I'm technically getting it as an off chance here while trying to go for V502. The sad part is I just don't think there's a lot of other interesting orange drops on these other enemies. At least not that I remember. Demons, please. Wow, I think I'm like 0 for 6 in demons. 0 for 7 in demons. There we go, finally landed. Okay, so we're gonna do the split into the Del Lilies. Yeah, but I'm also getting handgun gold, and I'm also getting uh, V502. I'm getting actually like other items. If it was only Psycho wanted that, I would not do it. I'm hoping actually just for V502, but we're not getting lucky, sadly. Also, to be honest, that's not really that far off from Mill Lily. Just, I'm gonna be real with you. I, I still think it's actually slightly better than Mill Lily, believe it or not. Mill Lily is really bad. You gotta remember, you have to put the enemy rare rate in the calculation. I mean, it, it's a little better during the event, at least, because rare enemy is better then it's still kind of garbo. All right, so I still need a I need a robot buddy. And then we should be fine. There we go. Looks smoother. Listening to this reminds me a lot of, like, Tales games. It is the same composer? That makes sense. <laughs> I'm like, that checks out! Like, this in particular reminds me of Tales of Destiny soundtrack. out of here. I got clipped. That's so sad. So as a reminder, after we deal with the Dell Lilies, we'll need two people in front, two people in back. I can slow the Ilgils down a little bit if we're not quite there. There we go. Ooh, that was almost really bad. Good job, though. And remember, after this Dell Lily wave, we all focus the front and murder that Ilgil. We, we care not about the guy Guiz whatsoever. On demons. I'm trying so hard, Chad. I do so little damage. Good wreck, stupid ill gill. That should have killed me. We'll take it though. I got hit by a confused and the and the death beam was coming towards me. There you go, Del Beater is showing their paws off, I guess. Delbeater. I'm gonna wear Glide Divine so it don't explode. The 
team mostly healthy. Seal team deals with the Del Lilies here. Freezes. Demons, please. <laughs> Need you to land at least once this run. Thank you. I'll slow them down. Demons trolling as usual. Miss demons again. So sad. I think I finally got invincibility. It's about time. I hit like 50 million times. Speaking of which. Don't mind me. Just gonna casually feed my mag. Got nothing better to do. Alright, so remember it's gonna be the ill gills around me. Oh. Can you not die to that, please? Throw them down. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Let me be real with you. I think I got really lucky with invincibility there, because that should have killed me. I'll take it, I guess. Just remember, after we're done with these, hang towards the bottom left of the minimap, because it'll be double Ilgil. I forgot to mention that last time. But yeah, just just start, like, slowly gravitating that way so we can deal with them. Oh, demons actually activated. I did it. And I'll definitely need uh, protection from the Ilgil Woolly Central ring. Oh, my bad. I miscounted. Silly. Yeah, that wasn't my bad. I for some reason forgot we did the other wave. Oh well. It'll go back to normal in a second. Like a five second ton loss. Been much worse. After this will be uh, Bill Gills I'll need protection from. You want my lunch money? <laughs> I'll stun the Del Lilies. We should be good. Did that really crit me? Really? Stupid. Well, good thing I'm alive at least to stun them. Yeah, that was obnoxious. I don't die to the normal Gibbles punch, just for clarity. So he, he I only died due to unlucky RNG. So sad. Oh well, we're almost done with the run. Yeah, I don't think I would still do this quest just for Gibbles. I actually don't think there's enough Gibbles. I think I would still do PW4 resets for Gibbles. Just, just clear three and reset. An even more intense run than Seal J Sword. The sad part is I don't really have a good orange character. I might have to make an orange ranger or something for it. Alright, we'll do one more. And we'll move on. We could say we did tower today. I'm getting trolled by armor I can't pick up. There we go. Stock my moon atomizers. Up in. I was gonna say, depending on how late Chris is gonna stay up, that'll depend on what we do next. I wanna make sure you get some TTF in. One more of this for now.
Maybe another hour or so. Oh yeah, we'll switch over to TTF after this then. We'll do CCA later. <laughs> TTF until Chris falls asleep. There we go. Oh no, eternal TTF, oof. There we go, there's the demon procs. I needed that way earlier. Don't be in front of me. Don't be in front of me. Stop going in front of me. Please stop going in front of me on this wave. Go like way behind me. If you're if you're parallel with me, you're too far up. I mean, fortunately, that wasn't like a big time loss, but that that can lead to party wipes on other teams. So it's just good to remember: just don't go past the force. If it's even vaguely questionable, you're too far. Because I, I basically stay almost where I was originally. That means you probably move up. Kill the guy, Gui. Rebarta here for the team. Stun lock. Nice paralysis. Appreciate it. One in front, one in back. Oh, frozen before I could target. That's so sad. That guy's just out of range. There we go. So once we're done with the Dell Lilies, we'll make our way forward. On demons. There we go. That one should die on its own now. Parameter crash. Don't know. This is gonna be interesting. <sighs> Untargetable. There we go. Ripping parameter. to see some hits. Remember, it's gonna be three here. We might all have to group up on this side with only three people. Let, let's try that. I think I can stun lock whatever comes up the ramp. I'll, I'll need more assistance here than I think up the ramp. As long as all of us are in the corner, I don't think the other ill guild can hit us. It's not good. I gotta rip. Oh, I gotta revive before the next phase. Not good. Not good. As long as we're all in the corner, we should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and debuff. It's all up to the team here. I'm gonna stun lock the others, so that'll buy us a lot of time. Yeah, now we can take our time here. There you go. The three man alternative strat. That worked. I guess I guess I could technically do that with four man as well, but I just find it more useful if there's like multiple demons. If the demons are split just to speed it up a bit. But not a bad backup strat. Wow. Didn't even give me the courtesy of invincibility until just now. Uh, chat killed it. Nice. There we go. 
Oh no, Blue Donna, no! It's a trap, Blue Donna, don't do it! Oh no. He's so gold. He'll do anything, Chad. It's bad. Poor Blue Donna. It makes sense. He's Blue ID. He's Blue Donna. He's not Red Donna. He's been telling us his section ID all along. We just weren't listening. Some money. So I'll stun lock, and you guys can decide whatever you want to do from here. Nice. Go the team so they're a little less out of kill range. We'll both focus in the back. I should be able to get a good stun lock here with Robarda. That was a good demon. That was a bad demon. That was, that was player fault versus game fault, though. There we go. My face was the ultimate decoy. So the double Ilgil here is going to be interesting. We're going to do the quad lilies, and then we'll have to somehow split ourselves between two directions. I'll do my best to demons. I killed one. Lock down at the other one. We'll fight these, and then we'll all focus the front afterwards. My bad. I did not hit that other one. There we go. That should be a GG from them. Wow, I actually just straight up frozen with Roberta. How rare. Oh, I'm getting hard bullied by Gaigui. That's annoying. Please stop hitting me, Gaigui. I don't know why you decided to be more aggressive with just three people, but I don't appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I'll face tank. I'm hoping to get an invincibility proc here, but I feel like the game is just gonna troll me. See how Cleve left me a big list of items. That is that is way too many to look at. I said Hell Needle, Hell Scythe. No, I'm not doing Hell Scythe. Definitely Hell Slicer. I think it would help to have two different Hells, and then I'll consider a Demon Mech Gun or something. Yeah, fortunately I already went through the useful challenge mode weapons, so I'm, I'm mostly aware of what they are. The others are just too niche for me. The only other one I would consider at this point, outside of Demon and Hell for the initial, my fourth choice would probably be as a lore handgun. To be honest with you, we've done so many team comps where nobody is the buff or debuff, and all we really need is just something to deal with falls, to be honest. So I kind of want something just to shut down falls, especially for solo view cast runs, which I do do. And I have, like, Viridia, for example, who's a Rocket Seal, who would really love to be able to do some runs. eventually. Sadly, it doesn't look like V502 has dropped for anybody this run. What a shame. Yeah, these Gibbles are the Lavis Cannon for clarity. Run a 
path over. I was gonna say that was that was a panic Rivardo. I was like, I don't know what is happening behind me. Get away from me. Guess that worked. We'll do a little group hug after this. charge. Nope. I left them close enough that the free strap still works. So we'll split up briefly and then I'll need all the help again in the center, just to remind. Because this wave is easy to forget about, like where the uh, double ill gill in the middle is. It's after this one. Yeah, this quest is actually not that bad, as I said before. It just requires... Demons, which will put it out of some people's purview, but I don't think it's as brutal as requiring hell with V502. I think that's just a tougher requirement. ever closer to the infamous level 180 to enjoy some red ring action. Come on demons. <laughs> Last man standing almost. Some buffs on the team. There we go. Nice 2,000 at the end. Eh, nothing of interest dropped, sadly. Oh well. The time to do some TTF. <laughs> I was gonna say, and then and then I read Helkley's bottom message. Oh yeah, plus the lure needle shot and handgun are all good. Yeah. I definitely want a Zillor handgun at some point. I do enough solo runs to justify it. Like honestly, like I do Hugh Casile, Hugh Cast, Rock Casile. All those characters need it. And that's also good for Ramar, of course. And all of those characters I just mentioned are all red ring IDs as well. Hmm. I guess I will host. I don't super need level ups at the moment. We're gonna be leveling a bunch of old characters. Not in a rush for my white raw marl to hit 180. I guess we'll just play our best character, quote unquote. Uh, curiosity. What am I looking at material wise? 94 photon drops, mid 20s with materials, mid 60s with uh, tickets life. Of these. I was gonna say whoever you want leveled Chris because they're they're gonna get crazy XP. We have a raw cast we should mostly be fine. I'm gonna bring in a serious character so there'll there'll be a pretty hard carry between the two. And then I'm sure anybody will hop in as a fourth. chat serious mode character <laughs> I don't feel like messing around it's on remote battery briefly up the glimpse I saw the the R oh yeah what was the forecast 
the still hunter. Oh, wait, does it not? Oh, it is still hunter humans. So it's still the time of the humor. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's see. The yeah, Hugh cast would be really strong here. Humor would be fine. Ramar would be fine. Any of those characters you wanted to give XP. Get our Excal going. Hmm. I don't think I need anything else at the moment. This is the signing characters. Murphy says I could finally join in. I think we'll have a slot for Murphy soonish. No worries there. So we're just waiting on Chris to pick a character. We have Glide Divine in order to debuff the boss at max distance. We have Excalibur to just delete everything. Yeah, no, the truly level character. If I really wanted to be like super picky, I'd swap my Heavenly Arms for an Adept. So that way I would have max accuracy and count my stats. Technically don't need it. You're struck by indecision. I was gonna say, try your, try your Hue cast. You didn't use uh, Disco of 13 before on him, right? On Volt Arm. You should enjoy that as the Hugast. I don't need anything else in here. Just making sure he didn't have my PB increased. Dango says, reminds me I need to get a 13. Yeah, it's really good, Dango. It is like an actual game changer. Sure thing, Chris. We'll wait. Um. Wait, who is my other adepts? Oops. I didn't put my adepts away from before. I'm assuming one of my phone humans has it. I'll have to check later. Right, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be gross. There we go. Hmm. I'm gonna do a quick look up to see which of my forces have it. I'm assuming I left it on Waluigi. If I had to guess, I feel like that was one of the last forces I used. That was not the previous character. Thirty extra hit on Brave Man is wonderful. It is. It is like run defining how good that thirteen is. There, there's a reason why it is like the number one armor on almost every character. It's like actually broken. I chant. Place your bets. Which character did I accidentally leave double adept on? I'm thinking it's my uh, purple force. Uh, no, it's not on them. Not on them. Yeah, it is on Waluigi. I sort of remembered. I did it. I know, I got pranked by him. I'll have to get them later. Fortunately, I have three floating, so if I do forget, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, now we're now at max at ATP, just to do extra bolt off damage and also resist. I mean, look at the resists, by the way, when I have Glide Divine on. What is Falls gonna do to me, chat? I, Falls doesn't even knock me down when I wield Glide Divine anymore. Look at that. Gross. <laughs> Stupid boss, you're not gonna do anything through three seals. Wish that boss luck hurting me. Oh yeah, like this right here, I if if I did not know Tails music better, I would have called this a Tails music right here. Got that classic, like, somewhere between Destiny and Eternia vibe. Oh 
my favorite battle themes from Golden Sun. Nice. Battle with Briggs. It's kind of crazy how much this also sounds like a PS1 sound chip. Right? Like, a lot of the the boom 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 like, the deeper sound reminds me very much of Valkyrie Profile as well. What was that one Star Ocean song? reminded of something real quick. I think it's the same composer, right? <laughs> like, Star Ocean Battle of the Keys? Blood on the Keys, whatever. I just want to listen to this real quick. Song Detour. Sounds like Vesperia. I'm not sure who the composer is for this. I'm assuming it's the same composer. But this is specifically Star Ocean 4. If it matters. I don't know anything about Starship, but there's no way it's not the composer. Yeah. Because, like, I hear, like, elements of the songs. I'm like, oh, you know what? This actually reminds me of another song that I think they did. Alright, so I'll need somebody to stay behind with me. Otherwise, everybody else can clear. Alright, I got somebody with me. Nice. This is just for the heart of items. So once we're done with the barbels, we'll move on. Oh wait, did somebody get it? Oh no, block one. I was like, that was pretty closely timed. Got baited a little there. Yes, so they're already done with that. I guess based on how fast we cleared that, we might even have two people help me in the beginning. And just have one person focused on the actual clear. It might work. Assuming nobody's using the sword, but whatever. I'll heal. And by the sword, I made Dark Flow. debuff to make life easier. I'm going to choose to walk around the dragon. Bye, dragon. Listen, we gotta practice our warping. That was pretty close last time, so it was like here, maybe? see how close am I to the red warp just trying to memorize where this position is in the sea stick room oh my gosh chat come cut, cut me a break <laughs> once I off by like half a step so close oh we'll get there we'll get there chat well dango approaching your location rapidly yeah pretty much damn that was the closest so far that was a heartbreaker I need a visual cue for how far to go in that room. Alright, somebody can slime dupe. It can't be me. I'm gonna move on. I'll probably be the one doing the serious clear for once. I'll just help people get into the next rooms. Ah, I'm making that wrong. Bonk. 
we're gonna help with the clear. Somebody else will slime dupe. I'm always happy if somebody's on slime dupe duties. I can't kill Lily by myself. Oh, I'll probably just finish this up here. Put a Ryuker down for later. Okay, I think I saw some slime dupe in. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the warp. There's no point to me running. I'm not gonna beat the person that was slime duping to the door. Although, depending on who's slime duping, they might not telepipe. Yeah, I was about to say. I realized when I said that, Chris doesn't usually carry telepipes. I realized too late my mistake, but I'm committed. All right, we're good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna glide divine here. We'll train Chris to have telepipes. I'm mashing Zalore here. down into the right to end up roughly in the middle of the bow. Get that early item during the cutscene. Oh, nothing useful. Hmm. I don't really want to be first in this room. I'm going to wait for the confused trap. And I think I'll pick these off while I wait. I was a little slow on this allure there, sadly. Anyway, back to the other soundtrack. I gotta really start running. I think I'm pretty far behind. It's gonna be so close if I'm here in time. Barely. Debuff, believe in the chat. I'm out of here as a force. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> You're on your own. I'm gonna pause trick and then I'm just gonna walk through them. You gotta be kidding me. I got the knockdown early. I'm lucky. It's RNG for clarity, whether that knocks down. I don't want it to knock down the way that it just knocked down. Okay, we're good. Two parts of brands, nice. Okay, let's practice Gazan looping. Not my favorite to do, but that's fun. I'm gonna hold forward. I'm going to zap zap. Hopefully I get the stun lock. Yeah, I should have it. I more need it if it gets if I miss. Just be ready to shoot if I miss. I would like walk up here, turn around. Ah, uh, don't shoot it. No. I had it. No. That threw me off when I saw that. That threw me off completely. Man, don't don't do it if I'm stun locking. I actually had it. I do much more damage per cast than you do. I have 2174 ATP, which I guarantee you is higher than spread needle. No, no, no. Don't don't yeah, don't shoot it. Whoever shot it, don't ever shoot it if it's actually stun locked. <laughs> it tilts me off the face of the earth. I barely get it. But I, I had it because I got like four in a row. Get rid of the vault up here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, 
help a little bit with Darkbringer here. Um, I'm not a ranger, so I can't force the mage to look at me. I'll just take the fast route. Oh wait, it actually did look at me. Huh. How cute. Almost killed it. Wow, the fact that Bo Newman almost got the early kill is kind of crazy. It's only off by like one swing. Oh, I gotta put more of a delay in. Now I know what I'm doing wrong with Excal. I need to normal and then delay heavy and then delay special. It should work. Yeah, weapons get kind of awkward at ultimate where like you can't just do them at their quickest pace. You have to put delays in them, which is a bit unfortunate. When you're playing like single player too, the speed at which the enemy moves is different. So the timing is also different because they move much faster at ultimate. Whereas before, it wouldn't matter if I did that. Okay, guys, so let's switch into Magical Beast. Is that a monolith? Uh, I'll go before we merge as well. Alright, so our goal here is to minimize getting hit, but it's very hard to do so as the Phonyman, especially with no initial invincibility. I think my fireball is strong enough to one-shot, which is important. So we're going to do our best to... Oh, I'm going to get hit here. Come on. Do our best not to get hit too badly, but port more importantly, I have Gafoe Emerge on. I'm able to kind of bully these. Now that I've done that... Switch into three seals real quick. I don't think it'll quite one-shot anymore, but I have enough stacks going, it shouldn't matter. I just need to make sure my initial fireball does damage. And we can switch into Glide Divine, I think. Is YouTube doing some shenanigans? Do you mean the soundtrack that's playing? I chose the game. Unfortunately... I am too far to give another buff to Trey. I'll try my best. Because he's walking around with no buffs due to the earlier death. I guess I'll go for a Zalora. And I'll go for a buff. Alright. It's chat's time. I actually dodged it. Nice. There we go. I did my I did my part. <laughs> I realize I don't have regular Barda here. I should probably put regular Barda on it. Alright, so I'm gonna be full screen. I'm just gonna mash the lore. Spoilers. So if you have LNK combats or snipers, Heaven Striker, now's your time. The damage is coming. There we go. Damage a little on the low end. I'm surprised we didn't hit 1500. Much better. I don't think this will knock me down. There we go. Thank you, Glide Divine Three Seals. <laughs> I don't have to care about falls at all when that's on. I'm a ghost. I was gonna say, it is true, we are in the green squad. <laughs> I'm the imposter here. I got mine material by the boss, seriously. Please. Here, um... I 
and Ash is real. I'm like, listen, I want to talk to them. I'm like, it's all about the next game. There we go. initially. Who's in the next one? Uh, probably still Chris. And Marco. It's up to Imperimeter if he wants to hop in or swap. has been given the blessing. Kasame bot is here. I'm surrounded by murder mechs. So, I think as long as just one person goes ahead, I think we can just kill the hard ups. Exactly, the robot squad is here. I'll try to Zalore everything in the first room. You know, as long as somebody's somewhat taking the run seriously, this should be good. They already do the all CC Hell run? No, Hell Cleave's not available yet. Be available, available later today. So I think our evening game might consist of that. Thank you, Marco. Stay behind and kill these. Remember, these are the heart of items. Iggy did get one yesterday, so let's prove they exist. There we go. Not too far behind. I was gonna say, according to YouTube, the next thing I'm gonna watch is all Goku first form transformations. Like, I don't even watch Dragon Ball. I don't I don't understand. It's not even it's not even like I've ever loaded it up on this computer. I don't think I've even played a Dragon Ball song on this computer either. Or this account in general. It's confused. I don't know what it wants. Now it's back to secret of mono music and ambiance. At least that makes more sense. But it keeps thinking I want peaceful music for some reason, which is not me. Oh my gosh, that's off by a step again. And chat, I'm <laughs> so close. Already? <laughs> Isn't that sad? Just, I'm one step away. Just so sad. Twice now I've gotten it wrong. Yeah, I noticed it was also recommending me a lot of Elden Ring, and I was like, listen, I don't I don't like Dark Souls games. Why are you recommending this to me? I don't understand. Like what what in my possible videos I've watched have led me to this decision? Devil Millily? Seriously? Wow. Team, please. Oh, wait, how did... Wait, what? I I'm so confused. How did the team die? I have to go back for the team. I'm so confused. I'm gonna go back for the Heavenly Power. This could be useful on my Fodu man. Anyway, you might as well just kill this wave. I unfortunately didn't tag the next one. No, but somebody else got murdered in my room. I think Chris died to the Bulmer or something. I was very confused. Anyway, time to progress. Oh, silver badge. I gotta go back for that. 
We're gonna do that so that way people could go to the next room. So feel free to do. I'm going back for my silver badge, then I'll help clear. Okay, murder mechs take care of that room, that's good. Same will take care of the slimes. You don't see that very often. I'm sure the I'm sure the forest runs are out of control. I haven't looked since the start of the stream. Probably right as Chris goes to do his last run. We'll let him know how many people were doing forest runs instead of helping the anniversary event. Read is real. Magical piece is in the worst spot for me. I keep thinking that it's Excalibur when I swap into it, and I'm like, oh no, it's not. Um, I guess I'll just go away a little bit, then walk in the corner. That should work. Nostalgic Pokemon music? Oh, now it really doesn't know who I am. I'm like, listen, I don't even play Pokemon. Why are you recommending this to me? Like, not in a million years have I ever typed out Pokemon names or anything like that. That that goes into the never have I ever. I don't I don't play it. I don't care. <laughs> Bad recommendation, YouTube. And then it's only Generation 3. I didn't even play 3. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like, I genuinely have not ever played 3 or watched it. I don't get it. You know what? Actually, you know what? It did play Pokemon music the other day. Maybe that's what it was when we were in that massive playlist. It played one song from it, now that I think about it. And I didn't recognize what it was from at all. And now it thinks I've played Generation 3 for some reason. Stupid other people's playlists. Makes me so sad. Yeah. I, have to t I might have to remove it from the recommendations. I honestly... Don't want to get flooded with it. I find it annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Kazan tech. Apparently. I have to scrub it manually. I was gonna say, t in, t in 10 seconds is already, uh... I feel like even just one second it'll put it on there. It really keeps recommending Dragon Ball Z. I don't understand why. Right, I'll do this monitor. There we go. Thank you for setting up with that monitor. That's fine. You could do that. <laughs> um, like otherwise, I'll go for the other one. We might have to start taking bets how many generic uh, recommendations it's going to give me. Uh, I'm going to say not interested. See how they handle that. 
Sorry, Dragon Ball Z and your many recommendations. What is the best Pokemon in every game? I don't care. <laughs> Stop recommending this stuff to me. Get out of here. Not interested. Banned. <laughs> this... Ooh, Bringer's right arm. Nice. Checking my head, John. This will set him a little. And then it keeps recommending relaxing music. I don't understand what got that on the thing. Is it because I listened to Secret of Mana? Like, when did it start doing that? I remember complaining about that before. I was like, I literally listened to like 15 hours of Castlevania, and then it's like. Do you want to listen to all the relaxing music possible? I'm like, no. Not interested? I'm also going to tell I'm not interested in it. I'm kind of curious if I tell I'm not interested in everything. What YouTube eventually does with that. Yeah, we're, we're removing this. Not interested. Maybe because it had a Chrono Cross in it. Maybe that's what it was. There's the com it's recommending the Comvania again. No, uh, no, you know what? <laughs> I was literally just talking about that video. It, it keeps wanting, so if I let it play long enough, it will always play that song uh, list for some reason. And I don't understand why. I've clicked Is off of that like five list? times. I'm getting tilted by the recommendations. Get out of here. One hour of Final Fantasy VIII music. Ew, gross. Don't think so. Hard pass. No, thank you. Okay, I got my initial fireball down, so it should be good. Well, that was actually really lucky. As was that. That should have definitely hit me earlier. We'll see how long it takes before it, it stops recommending me DBZ. Thank you for sticking around, Rob. Hope you enjoyed the music. Hope you have a good lunch. Nice. Still recommending Pokemon. Oh, I think I banished it. <gasps> It's no, it stopped recommending me DBZ in Pokemon. Is it learning? Real time learning? What if one hour of comic DBZ music? Oh no. Please no. Yeah, I definitely need to put regular Bardo on my list. Where's my 10 hour calming DPC powering up shouts? There you go. Okay, we did much better damage that time. That was like 4k more. Much better. We have a good chance of one cycling here. Oh, so close. Joke's on you, Dark Falls. I'm immune to your knockdown. Welcome, Draken. Hope you're doing well. I'm a ghost. Up to heaven it goes. Nibelung Velesti. <laughs> I love the all cast army here. Murder mech judging the raw casts. And the horse of silence are only if I could. See, that would actually be funny. Okay, I'm judging by the lack of excitement from the uh, players, I'm assuming Red Ring did not drop. 
Even though the banner is broken. You feeling okay there, banner? Wanna, do you wanna do anything, banner? No? Okay, you went away eventually. <laughs> it got a little confused. Yeah, I think because we got a banner as we went in between, it just didn't know what to do when it needed to spawn another one. Like, I'm just gonna hold it here. Ten hours of silence interrupted by no red ring drops. Damn. Truth, though. So yeah, at least we could say if people are asking why we're not doing anniversary quests, we'll say, see the first two hours of the stream. <laughs> we, we added stuff there. We even did Tower and Atrocity, too. That's like bonus points right there. We help trick people get the last 100 points in Tower and Atrocity. <laughs> we're like, we're gonna put it close, but we won't do it. Somebody else will do it. It's a public runs at AA1. Oof. Yeah, we were uh, we were locking down Tower pretty well. Demon without Demon Mech Gun, we were around 10 minutes. With Demon Mech Guns, we saw it was like 7 minutes 45, I think was our record. It's definitely a very big difference with Demon Max. demon shot recently. Interesting. Sort of little. We'll do a few more. And after that, I'm not sure. Do some other quests. 24th Assault Vault, nice. This time I'll actually buff people. Go a little faster. Immediate photon drop from boxes, interesting. Needle having like a really high increased damage, like in terms of per shot over spread needle is kind of sick. Sorry, Tello, you're in the way. I should go back for those materials. I wasn't going to, but I'm lost for those. Yeah, I think for me it's going to be probably. Hell Needle, followed by Hell Kunai or whatever. Oh, I think he's talking about Arrest. I, I don't really want to use Arrest Needle, to be honest. Arrest Needle makes sense if I'm, like, really Ramar focused. And I care about the percentages, but I don't really play Ramar enough to justify it. I would get Zalorg Handgun before I would get uh, a Rest Needle. But that's just because I play a ton of single player with characters with no debuffs. Alright, we're gonna try to play the guessing game again. Where is the exact right spot I need to stand? Is there a visual cue? Like, there's a little bit of cracked earth here. Is it like right here? Not feeling confident. I 
I need like a visual cue. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, maybe I have a visual cue now. Hell yeah, chat. Get that instant teleport. I'm out of there. Look how fast that was. I'll let people slime dupe. I'm not interested in that. Rip the slime. Let's see a good dupe. Uh, let's go back through here. We're gonna debuff. Whoa, that was scary that somebody walked in the room first and didn't immediately go for Lily. I'm not gonna lie. That was very scary. It did get a shot off. You're dead, so we'll let Kasame go forward. Should be fine here. Oh yeah, you're not equipping that into like 180 plus, unless you're wearing like literally a pure power mag. Kind of blows. Um, I guess I'll leave, because I don't need to be in here. Yeah, it's the Force I don't really have rooms I can solo clear. Like, I'm not going to be dealing with Lily rooms. If it's single player, yes. Multiplayer, no. Why are they running through? I'm confused. I guess picking up items. Ah, power material. X out. Time. All these. Fill up the group, cast a fireball, walk into the bottom right of the raft. It was money. See, we're doing happy sailing music on the raft. to say. Could you imagine how different Ponuman would be if he had 820 ATP and could wield Galatine? You're like, hold on, the deleter is here. Bonk. I think I actually killed him with melee there. That's pretty shameful. Pretty high hit Galatine to make it useful in force, sadly. But the phone Newman's accuracy would have been kind of nice. Okay, so Excal got Gazan. Should be good. <laughs> Omar is definitely blind.
There we go. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But when I do that motion, sometimes I hit the right stick. That causes it to do weird things. Get revived in time for experience. I'll turn drop, I'll go pick that up. Yeah, that's why I've been trying to learn to do this, but then sometimes I miss menu into the Gazan, which is annoying. It's like I need to like zap and then like do this to set it up properly. That's what I want to train myself to do, because I need to be able to reposition quicker. And I feel like if I'm in the other menu, it doesn't really work out. really hates rangers <laughs> it's like i just look at it stare down it's like oh raw test raw test just, just ignores the thing like actually attacking it hate is real That sucked. That's fine. Ooh. <laughs> Trying to slip behind. I got more deadly than I expected. I found out it's like two of Rockcast was coming at me. True. do Barda later. I meant to switch to that earlier, because most of the time I'm I'm gonna know what Rabarda is. I might as well turn it into something useful. I'm trying to stack a few initial Gafoes, and then I'm gonna swap out into three seals for later. I'm not gonna get a better opportunity later. I'll be like immediately debuffing. But as long as I have stacks here it doesn't matter that it doesn't single hit. Looks like I'm getting a lot of stacks in, which is good. I'm lucky. The ones that were near me were not targetable. I covered like almost, I think, literally the whole center of the arena. Fortunate. In, please. There we go. Fine. So I'm gonna. Delore, and then I need to make sure Glide Divine is out afterwards. Yeah, like, I have a br very brief window there to swap, but I'd rather just make sure my Gafoe stack is out. Now that I have Glide Divine, I could debuff immediately. Thank you, Glide Divine. Actually useful. Thank you, Barda. Ooh, I think chat missed some shots. That seemed very low damage wise. I'll keep shipping away at the hell. Uh, uh, what, what is team doing? Hold on. What? Uh, I'm getting trolled. I'm dead.
There we go. Have a pretty little fireball during the death cutscene. I'm a ghost. Yeah, my rest of range on Phonuman is terrible. A couple of these. Many ghosts on Affinia. I think so. I was gonna say, at least we immortalized that shameful handgun, so everybody can boo that handgun in the uh, in the in the wall of shame and discord. The handgun was actually depressingly terrible. Could have been so good. Okay, so we'll do like one more, or two more with Chris, and he needs to get rest. There we go. Hmm. Marco getting ever closer to 180. The big level up difference. Suddenly tower becomes ultra free. Let's get that free extra damage. Free up a ranger wall for a new character. After that, I don't know. Let's see what time it is. I have to get food eventually. I probably won't be on too much longer after this. We'll take a break. versus the barbels. Fine. We'll check for the heart item. One, two, three. There we go. That's the delay I'm looking for. I'm out of here. on Marco. I as well as just hit the Rappy or something while I'm waiting. Oh, there we go. I see Marco. It's all atomizer. Sure. So I'm gonna try to memorize what crack of ground that warp spawns on. And if nothing else, I can review the bond if I don't get it correct again. Mostly just need to debuff and walk away. So it's like, you come up here... Is it like, literally that crack? Or is it this one? It might be this one. Kind of like... I just want to see. So there's kind of like a zigzag. So my visual cues, there's a zigzag in the corner. I'm assuming the warp is going to be right here. We should be good. See how close the zigzag is. So I just want to see relative to the zigzag, where is the actual warp? 
Oh, it was really close. Okay, that, that's pretty close. I do miss the battle music in this game. Those poor lilies are about to be murdered by the chat. I'll, I'll debuff for the chat. You can feel free to disca them. If you have disca, they die really quickly. Just need a freeze trap. I don't have a disca, so I'm not gonna go for it. There you go. Nice murder. My team's got that cleared up. Okay. Clean up this room. Just unlock them by hitting them with Excalibur. Oops. I'll take that though. Um. They're cleaning up that room. I guess I could leave a warp for the team. I'll leave a warp here so people can take it if they want. I think Chris doesn't have telepipes. I don't think he's back for them yet. I'll do the walk. Nicely done. So far I've been gifted with invincibility every time. I will gladly take. We'll heal up, we'll do a fireball, then I'm gonna hold the bottom right. We should be able to clear most of the boxes automatically. Oh, it is money. That's unfortunate. We can use a little bit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, so yeah, I think I'm up for like maybe another half hour beyond this, but I, I do want to get lunch. So I could, in theory, just do two or three more TTFs. Pause for a second. Okay. I am definitely going through there. Excalibur out, got this. Okay. Yeah, this is so much easier in single player. It's kind of awkward I can only really practice on stream. Hit it, but I didn't get the lock. That was unfortunate. Oh, see, that happened again. When that happens. So that happens, like, if I do it too quickly. I can... Pause it. Oh. Maybe. If I do it too quickly, I actually cancel the menu. So that's what happens there sometimes, and it causes me to miss input. So I gotta go slower. I'm trying to go fighting game speed, and I'm like, I gotta go slower. The game needs like 10 or 15 frames at least to register. 
Gotta cast the Gazond and then I could do it again. I just gotta get a slower rhythm. I mean, I'm freeing people. My damage is nothing. I got nothing better to do. Oh, there we go. There's the deleted damage. Nice Disca. Actually, you know what? I thought about what we should do once we complete this run. Chris was looking for Parasitic Gene Flow. We could do one RT. That'll probably end for now before we go on break. That should be just about the right amount of time. wave. Yeah, that'll be perfect timing, because then I'll be wrapping up around 1.30. Do a couple of casts, and then we'll swap our items out. close to me and we're targetable. Should kill quite a few of them, allegedly. Although I'm not getting the I'm not feeling the payoff yet of Kapoe. There it is. There, like there's actually like a good 40 to 45 percent of them like right next to me. But we're just not getting them sadly. Targetable. We'll spam a few more fireballs. There we go. That was worth it. So painful. I love I'm the only one targeted by this. This is so sad. Take the laser. Everybody's out of health steel range. feel hungry. <laughs> I'm making hungry mistakes. I need some food. Let's get rid of Dark Balls here. Yeah, I deserve this. It's hit me. Double hit me. It's fun.
bonk. I'm a ghost. Sadly, no red ring today. 175 is a nice level. Hmm. What ID should we run RT on? I don't really feel like playing blue. We haven't done Viridian in I don't think we've ever done a pink or an orange. Question mark. I don't think a Faux Newman would have a lot of fun there. Faux Marl would, though. Maybe I'll just do Pink ID into it. Mix it up a little. We almost never do that. Yellow or Sweet Galatine? That is not really dropped. I'm, I've given up on that. Viridian would get, like, another L and K combat chance. Yellow is Galatine. Blue is Jaya. Pink has items I'm actually looking for, I think. As well as decent Seabed. It's just a shame they can't get Excalibur in that run. Yeah, let's do that. That way we could say we did it. And one day we'll do orange on stream as well. Or RN. I would like to state that I have gone three weeks now doing at least some quests with Pink ID that drop Gal not Galatine, that drop uh, Vivian. I still have not seen Vivian. This is so sad. It's not even that rare. Like, why though? We kill like a several several hundred a week. Still haven't seen it. Okay. No worries, Murphy. Good luck at work. We'll be back in the evening. Yeah, I got double PB create on for uh, RT. I could just use Rambling May to delete a boss. I think we have a free slot for somebody that just wants to do a quick RT. Welcome, Draken. Potentially this evening we'll do the uh, the power leveling. I think Chris was interested. We'll see who's around at the time. Elcleave is in. I'm in. Potentially anybody with a Hell Needle is in. We just want to make a free character. It should be very silly. Promethean's in. If you're around in the evening, Promethean, then you are more than welcome. Yeah, Chris might not be awake. We'll see. We'll, we'll put a question mark. And chat will have time to make characters, since chat will be making my character. And then before I go into the character proper, I want to make sure all my stuff is set up.
Yeah, it'll be like if, if we don't have four people, we don't do it. It's just that simple. Otherwise, the, the, the fallback date is tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm not- it depends on how long I'm with family today, whether I need to do a mini-stream or not. Or do a mini-stream before the other thing. I might not be able to start until normal stream time. Just dependent on family. On Vivian. Give me a Vivian. Plus this 50 Dark Rambling May should be kind of funny on the first phase of Olga Flow. Oops. Rare Rappy. Getting trolled. That's not Vivian. I don't actually want Rare Rappy on anything. No, I don't want parts of Egg Blaster. I've already picked up two this event. At least drop me money. Please don't drop me the rare. I really don't want the rare. This is so sad. I'm probably gonna get that before I get Vivian. We're, we'll get three parts of Egg Blaster before a single Vivian. Of course it is. <sighs> One day, Chad. I didn't even pick it up, right? I guess I could drop this. This is the Reaper's power. Yeah. We are the Eggman now. Damn, that damage is so good. Alright, the fact that I'm combo killing without Zalor there, that feels good. Like, listen. Perish. Yeah. Sadly, no Vivian. We had a chance at Rambling May. Theory. That would have been kind of nice. Okay, is it gonna glitch teleport? That's the real question. days as we murder things on a raft. Nope, it's not. I can at least hit it while it's off the side of the raft. This gun. Actually, I think I'm in the wrong corner. I was gonna say, if it came at me, I have the ability to deal with it with a double hit. I go back to this corner. I aim in the middle. Hope it glitches. There we go. I shot the thing. I'm the victor. Oh, glitch. The bad glitch. The one that wastes time. So unfortunate. Yeah, we could have been hitting that the whole time. Yeah, it should have been there. Dear Aphinius staff, stop letting Barbara Ray glitch. Please fix Barbara Ray and D-roll A. Hmm. 
slightly to the left. It's hard to see my character model through the robots, but I think this is closer. Slightly off. Oh, so close. Yeah, I was angled a little to the left. That's unfortunate. So sad. I failed the lineup Olympics. I think that tri fluid for sure. On the plus side, I'm at 55 meters, so I know I don't have to try at all. If I really just wanted demons the rest of the way, I could. Otherwise, like, that's pretty good damage. The fact I'm doing, like, basically 900 a swing, it's kind of like I'm a real melee character. <laughs> Even without using hell, at least I could kill stuff. I think it can also kill the Gies in a combo, which is, again, good enough, because that's what Hell does. But obviously, if I have the Hell challenge mode weapons, it's better just to do that. Is playing White Labyrinth this deep in the soundtrack? This is like the sixth song in the game. Like, 23 in. Crazy. You go to the snow forest before you go to the happy town music or sailing music. Already at 66 meter. Thank you, double PP create. Look at that meter gain chat. Mmm. Delicious meter. But definitely if we were an all hell party, I would still be able to build enough meter. Plus side too, she can also shoot flying enemies, so she does okay damage in this boss fight compared to the other forces. The other forces don't do jack. So I guess I could see why she's used in episode 2. Just from the sheer fact that I can actually fight bosses. Gotta get a little closer. meter and rising. I could in theory stick to all me get in the next area if I want to. There we go. I had a feeling it dropped money. I wanted that money. Hella clock for these enemies. We're lucky we'll get something interesting in the seaside boxes, but it's unlikely. You get please. Ooh, interesting. My other rambling may would be able to hundred percent hit this. Yeah, okay. I can't quite combo kill.
Look at that. I'm helping. Um. Yeah, I can also shoot Gal Griffin with Rambling May, which is nice. I guess if I held two Rambling Maze, I'd have one specific specifically for Gal Griffin. Deal with it faster. So I'm obviously not gonna out damage a Cannon Rouge, but I do more than I think any other force would do. And obviously I actually have a good weapon to deal with uh Olga Plo. Although I might need more hit percentage, we'll see. Okay, so I have guaranteed meter here. We're going the nice little hidey hole. Hoping to get like a amp or something from here. We'll see though. Oh, it's just all weapons. Like on, on my screen, it's still like way back here. Meanwhile, it's punching people psychically. It's not the one I was looking to aim this. It's still not the one I was looking at. You can see where my camera was aimed to. That was just rude. I did put away my demonic fork. I think it makes a big difference here. Okay, so I'll quick fly divine briefly, do some buffs. Bait the shots. We're getting a couple pot shots in every now and then. Wow, this boss actually just got bullied. Kind of embarrassing for the boss, really. Twirly, twirly, twirly. You need more cannons. No weapons of interest there. It's there, and the rest is just item. Get kills. I do have a lot of time to build meter here. I might be fine just using one PP create. Just a little bit here. It's for a badge chance. CC 
trifluid right on the ramp that I'd like to use. Not for sure. Pop the boxes, no weapons of interest. Going forward, I might just put Barda on the other slot on all my casters, because I do need Barda in a couple scenarios. It makes sense for the photo world to always have it, but there are times I just want to use Barda over Rebarda, because I need the range. Goodbye, Rico Box. You're in my way. And that everybody's caught up, I can afford to spam Fireball, and somebody will freeze the Del Beater. She hit Gladius, no special. Oh well. <clears throat> Could have been interesting. <clears throat> I'm gonna deep up the Sinnoh that's on the other side of the wall. I'm gonna hit him with Rivarda. Got him, checkmate. And I think I just barda this to stop him from pumping. Oh, never mind. I've already hit him. GG Sinozoa. Team will clean up the last Rico boxes. Debuff the room because it looks like we have a decent amount of ATP with us. Bonk. Debuff people in a moment. There we go. I am definitely leaving the Morphos alone. I have no interest. Silver badge. Come on. I, I have to go back for that. I do actually need these. Gold. I'll do the box check. I don't need any meter. I don't care about activating the trap there. There's nobody behind me. Let's do the box check that never pays off. Oh, the Cenozoa spawned. I was like, why am I not moving? His arm too big. Nope, nothing of interest. So sad. One day that box check will be like an 80 hit item. It is lower seabed. In theory, it should actually drop something good at some point. Oh, I'm in trouble. I can't move. I can't hit the target in front of me. There we go. That'll work. Alright, so I have twins. Um, I'm gonna keep rambling May on, I think, for the boss. As long as somebody can go in with PB, we should be good. Okay. Everybody else can just donate. Yeah, that is the downside of using all hell. We found out that when there's like two hell users, you actually go slower than just one. If you have three hell users, I think it's faster. Because then the time saved on the whole run is faster than doing this, but... We're going back and forth for a while. Because we're, we're talking about like the 20 minute mark. It's usually about where you enter this boss. The people with Heaven Strikers will be able to hit early, and I'll be able to Zalore early. I just gotta clean it up with a couple of rambling May shots, which I think can also hit the boss, because it is disjointed hitbox. So I'm gonna go for it as well with just normals. It should have infinite vertical height, this should work. Yeah, it's working.
near him. Yeah, the downside without high hit percentage, it's very easy to miss the Heaven Striker. Usually I prefer to do like triple, triple Striker into usually Charge Vulcan. I guess like the most guaranteed way to get damage. In theory, if you land every sacrifice, it dies before it falls down. But unless you have like 60 hit Striker, I don't think that's happening. Debuff. There we go. <laughs> Dead nice already. Getting Marco ever closer to two to uh, 180. Oh, I got mono fluided. Never mind. It's even worse. It's so sad. I wish I got Masetta. 7% to level up. Nice. Wah! Wah, indeed. Oh well, an attempt was made. So, anyway, it's time for me to get food. I am very hungry now. anything I need to put away for now. I'll leave it on the character. So potentially when we return, the next one will be the level up stream. Let's quit out for now. Talk about how the runs went. Wah! We didn't really... <laughs> the wall returns. We didn't really see a lot of rares today, which is disappointing. But I think from the perspective of clearing the anniversary quests, let's take a look. So when we started today, Forest was... Oh, I, I haven't loaded at 69,000. Oh, those are the days. Forest is now at 83,000. Atrocity 2 is at 252. And Tower is at 248. So yeah, we pumped Atrocity and Tower higher than Seabed at Atrocity 1. So our runs did make a difference in the total. Everything else is above 12k at this point, so nothing else technically needs to be run. Oh, I'm sorry, Temple and Spaceship are at 11 still. So we'll see where it goes. We do like a little bit of that every day. Probably be fine. But anyway, chat. Go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point and the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.